So hey guys, this is the MIUI Mint most repeated ROM for Redmi Note 10 and I have been searching for that and now it gets the official belt for your alls. So this is based on MIUI 13 was a MIUI Mint RVS and the belt number is 13.010 with the Android 12 version. If you can see this, it's all the details of the device have been mentioned over here like Snapdragon 678 and everything. If you click on always specs, you get the Android version and here from here you can see that this is based on android 12 not android 13 because android 13 is still not released for this device on the miui mint version after that you get the kernel version of of miui same above here after that we will get into the other settings also here you get the system and mobile network settings everything is same like in miui nothing is get changed with the bluetooth option bluetooth option is also working fine with the connection and secure devices you get the all things that is present in the in the MIUI so nothing is new above here in the wallpaper and personalization option is also been here if you click on here uh, like AOD you get the AOD options from here also and you can select the AOD like if I just see turn screen off my yes you can see that AOD is also been working after that here here is the icons pack option is also given you can increase or decrease icon size I generally use decrease icon size here's the library option too given with the ringtones and notification alarms and the effects option is given for the any notification that comes out in the device after that let me see you the always on display is the same given here with the notification or already i told in the videos and nothing more is new given with the side panel shortcuts is also been there you can use the side panel shortcuts and guys if you really like the video then please give it a thumbs to my video and subscribe to my channel the here you get the charging animation don't use the glow because glow creates a lag and wave is working fine no issues with the wave after that you get the display option with the dark mode and light mode support also from here you can see this and the brightness level is here you can see this screen brightness you can increase or decrease auto brightness sunlight mode is also given and the smooth transitions are also available it will help you to gain your brightness smoothly and perfectly after that you can see the anti-flicker mode if i disable it to regular you can see the anti-flicker mode is working fine after that color scheme is also been there and saturated original colors option is also been there if you apply original colors then it will form into that monet engine working if you click on the saturated you get the favorite. I selected vivid because I like that. After that, advanced settings option is also given and you can arrange it from here. You can like select P3 color gamut or sRGB options is also been there. Adaptive color options is also given. If you just click on this, the whole system gets changed with the monet settings. So this is working fine at all. Display resolution, if you click on the WQHD and if you just select the volume for control center, you get this kind of look. So I don't highly recommend this. This is working fine all around, so you can do with it. Refresh op rate option here is given of 1690 and it doesn't work because the hardware isn't allowing that to work. And if I, there's no any kind of use, so I, I use default. AI smart engine is option is also there. You can enable it from here. But if you select the color P sRGB, then it will want to work. After that, let me go to font settings and here you get the me sense and everything mentioned here after that not much of the settings is also given sound and vibration no any dolby atmos support only me sound and the normal is given out the after that the notification control center option is given you can i have already mentioned this control center style you can arrange and collapse after touch is option is also been there nothing new in the home screen you got a lot of optimization and settings that you can do use in in this room here is the uh, app drawer and light mode with the latest launcher it is having so you can use that also here's a background option is also given there if you just like if select to light and apply you can see this it's whole gets light so nobody is in that also after that everything does works within this no not, not of the single setting isn't working and after that, force global app world, I don't use because it creates a lag and I don't like it. That's why I'm never not open that. After you can see that high animation speed, you can arrange. And this is the best room for the animation. If you love animations, you can see this. And one thing I want to note, if I, if you reduce whole animation duration, animation looks like 
super fast but it not feels so good so either you can select on the balanced and with the balanced this it seems to be same so nothing has to be going to change after that folder bounce effect is also given you can enable and double tap to lock on screen it isn't working i'm telling it isn't working it might be a bug for that system navigation option is given and you can select from the buttons and here you got the buttons option not now and i generally prefer gestures option so you can use that gestures options too after that you can i already told about these settings icon size already mentioned you all global icon animation home screen layout is an uh, infinity given i can't understand who uses this but it is given app arrange range in items is also been there and it's working fine you can see this if i just do this you can this cubic structure is working all around and here you get the tg channel is telegram channel who ported this room i thought me i meant i don't know this maintainer name but thanks to this maintainer to be creating this room because after custom home uses i really like this room so yeah it is best after that you got the show memory status if you click here you get the show memory status from here also and reboot launcher if you if anything gets not working then it will reboot your launcher too so that's good thing and after that same settings battery you got the performance mode and these modes i have already took the benchmark from the performance mode and it did perform well so i will share that also in the later part of the video and guys if you're still watching my video then please consider subscribe and like to my video that it will really motivate me to create an awesome content for yours after that guys you can see that special features option is also there with the sidebar and I'll, uh, you can select on always show and from here you get the sidebar options here you, you get the sidebar options here you can see that sidebar is also present so you can use that second space is also given and light mode is also been there after that you get the vanished in this room especially so vanished setting is do working fine but i don't recommend this sometimes i thought this it crashed it gets getting crashed so according to me don't use these settings after all i took all the benchmarks and let me start from the sefi device certification first of all the uh, if you can see this my device is certified with the play store you can run your banking apps easily with no hassles after that i took geekbench and geekbench course performed out well you can see this history and took with the performance mode itself with a single code of 528 and multi code of 1660 1563 sorry and i didn't take any gpu scores of that also after that you get the leica camera in this and it is working fine but here's the something doesn't work okay 30 fps option is also present over here and pro mode is working do fine with the leica structure of that so you can get this and guys you can also join my telegram channel for more info about the updates slow mo video doesn't work so yeah after that i took that where it's gone cpu throttling test let me show with the gallery Oh, one second gallery and here it's it is being run for 15 minutes and the cpu throttle is 79% max performance after under 12 i'm seeing that this device getting too much throttled with a max of 146 gps and minimum return is not there so yeah minimum is not so good i already mentioned geekbench this is a slingshot screen test of the 3d 3d mark test and the overall score is 1474 with the physical graphics test is of 454 fps 0.70 this is best and in few android 12 rooms i seen this score so you can use this also overall score is 482 in the wildlife test and it did performs well this is no pre rooted rom you can use this rom at no e hassles it's working fine you get the new mi mi on and off option with the control center is monetize monet okay it's supporting monet engine and you can see this this is working all around fine and it is adapted to monet colors like if i have changed the wallpapers but in the mi sr you got the change these settings so guys this is all for my review the battery is too good battery usage is too good and first of all i want i forgot about the charging 
the charging super fast like me why when i device is launched when this device is launched the charging speed has been a great at that at that time charging speed is fucking fine in this time of new i my mint edition so guys this is all for my review if you really like the video then please thumbs up a video and till then bye bye take care and stay safe